Hello again and thanks for joining us. My name is Jesse. In today's video we're going to be covering shooting from the knee on the holster side of the leg. I'll start with a demonstration. Okay, so today's technique is actually uh, very simple. If you've seen the previous video on shooting from the knee from the saddle side of the leg, you'll notice that there isn't much variation here. Uh, the only real difference is in your stance. So, when we set up for this movement, we start in our ready stance. Whichever side you're, uh, you're shooting from the knee from, uh, that leg needs to be at the front, okay, instead of at the rear. Uh, as is the case uh, previously with shooting on the on the saddle side of the leg. So if I'm going to shoot with my anchor knee, my anchor knee is is, uh, is at the front. If I'm going to shoot with my lead knee, okay, then in the direction I'm facing, that needs to be at the front as well. So you put the knee that you want to shoot with at the front in the direction you're facing. You're going to start in the downspin, okay. The length of rope that you have is just like last time, okay, arm's length and then some. You want to spin over the top of the knee, okay, and the meteor or your rope dart will fly off on its own, okay. So first, once again, you want to start pinching the rope. Make sure you have enough length of rope, okay. Pinch the rope. Don't let it uh, slide through your fingers. Get into your stance, over the knee, and then let it shoot off. Okay. Be careful not to hit yourself in the knee, and uh, that can happen when your rope is either too short or when you twine the rope too low on the leg. Okay, if you twine it too low on the leg, then it decreases the length of your rope, and it'll, when it spins, it won't clear your kneecap. It'll hit you in the knee or in the leg somewhere. All right. So after you get used to that, spin and let it fly off on its own. Then that is uh, that's when you can transition into actually releasing your grip after the shoot. Okay, so a quick note on this. The timing of when you release determines how high in the air, uh, uh, what direction your meteor hammer, your rope dart is going to fly. So if you release it straight away, right when it snaps, it's going to uh, shoot directly straight up into the air on a very uh, a high angle. But if you wait just you know an extra second or a half second, then it's going to level it out. Okay, so you can experiment with that on your own um, to figure out uh, the timing for uh, how high or how low you want to shoot this uh, using your knee. So once again, we're here. Back to shooting and retrieving as well. Okay. Same, same rules apply for the, for, the, for the lead leg as apply for the anchor leg. So I just did a, shot, did a few shots with my anchor knee, switching sides, going to the lead side of my body now. Still, the direction I'm facing has my lead leg at the front, okay, and I'm going to start in a down spin, facing toward my lead side, intercept the, the rope with my knee, and let it fly out. Okay, now I'll, uh, now I'll demonstrate from a few different angles, starting from the front.
So that is uh, shooting your rope dart from the knee on the holster side of the leg. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.